Well, it looks like vertical video is here to stay with IGTV and video pins on Pinterest and TikTok and even Facebook stories. So what does that mean for us horizontal video creators? Well, it means that we can use the content we create here for YouTube and convert it into a vertical format so that we can grow our audiences on all those other fun platforms by simply converting our horizontal videos into a vertical format. Now, you might be thinking, how are we supposed to navigate this? Are we supposed to re-edit, recut all of our YouTube videos into something that works for IGTV? Yeah, you can. I'm gonna show you how really quickly in this video, but you don't have to, because if you don't have any video editing software that will do this easily, or if you just don't wanna take the time to do it, I'm gonna show you five ways that you can repurpose your horizontal videos into that vertical format without using complicated software at all. Now, if you're new here, my name is Meredith Marsh and this channel is dedicated to helping your side hustle thrive with video. So hit that subscribe button now because if you can create videos easier, faster, and a lot more fun, then you can quickly grow your audience and income online with YouTube. Now, I put a link to everything I mentioned here down in the description below this video. So let's hop onto my computer and get started. Now, the first way that I wanna show you here is going to be using a video editor. And this will work in any video editor that has the ability to create a vertical or portrait aspect ratio video. So what you see here on your screen is Premiere Rush, but this would work with Premiere Pro, Filmora, Final Cut Pro, even LumaFusion on your iPad. But if you're using iMovie or any of the other programs that don't allow you to do a vertical uh, video, then you're gonna wanna skip ahead in this video where I show you how to do this without any software at all. So you have your horizontal video here in your software, you're done editing, and let's assume that you've exported this so that you can upload it to YouTube. Now here in Rush, you could duplicate this sequence and then just select the vertical aspect ratio. This works really well in Rush, but not every editor is quite this easy. You could also start a whole new sequence that is a vertical ratio, like I'm showing you here in Premiere Pro, and then paste in your entire timeline from your horizontal edit and simply resize everything one by one. But here's a simple hack for you. Just import your component completed exported horizontal mp4 file that you would normally upload to YouTube. And then in doing so, you only have one clip to manipulate and resize within this vertical frame. Now you could scale the video up like this so that your video completely fills your frame, but this is gonna be tricky unless you're sitting here talking to a camera and not moving at all. Like. I am right now. Another option is to crop it and then add some branding or graphics to the space above and below the video, or just leave it empty with your brand color behind it. I do that by creating a color mat and just putting it in as a layer below that video clip. Now, personally, I like to keep my horizontal videos horizontal within that vertical frame because sometimes I'm doing a screencast like I'm doing right now and I don't want any of that screen to get cut off. So I position mine in the middle of my vertical frame. You could move yours around however you'd like here. And then I always put a title above the video that works really well with IGTV when you're scrolling through Instagram. It can kind of catch people's eye to see that title there. I upload the video, I add my thumbnail, my title, and the caption, and then I usually save it as a draft unless I'm ready to publish it right away. If I'm not ready to publish it right away, I will usually tell Siri to remind me on the date and time that I wanna publish it. Hey Siri, remind me tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. to publish my IGTV video on how to convert horizontal videos for IGTV. Cool. Now, what if you don't have Premiere Rush or Pro or any other software to create a vertical video? Well, I'm gonna share with you five different ways that you can do this online without having any video editing software at all. And it's actually really simple. So placeit.net actually has a free video cropper. So you upload your video and then give it some time to process, choose the size that you want to convert it to, download it, and then you can post it to IGTV. And while it is free and super convenient, 
there is a 100 megabyte limit. So it may not work for you if your videos are super long. Some other options are sites like Kapwing, Zubtitle, Clipscribe, and InVideo. Kapwing has a free version. One of my favorite features of Kapwing is that their user interface is easy to grasp and you can resize a video just by pasting the link, which means there's one less step. You don't have to upload your videos and that's really convenient. Zubtitle has a free trial where you can use it with one video and then after that it costs $19 a month to create 10 videos per month. I tried this out for a previous video. I really liked the interface for Zubtitle. It was totally different than anything I had ever seen before. And just a reminder, I put a link to everything I mentioned down in the description below this video so you can check these things out for yourself. Now, Clipscribe is one that I use regularly and I think I used it for free until I maxed out the minutes. So I did upgrade to a paid account. Now the interface itself here is kind of clunky, but it does the job and I'm very happy with the results. So you just upload your video, you give it a few minutes to process and then you choose the size you're looking for. And then you can edit your colors, add a heading, even add your logo and branding or an emoji. Now, some of these have automated caption generation as well, which is awesome. And I actually did a video explaining exactly how to do that, which I'll link to in the cards right above my head. So once you're done in Clipscribe, you hit save so that your video is saved to your account. Then you choose make and the whole thing gets processed to be ready to be downloaded. In video is another option that's a really robust in-browser editor, meaning that you can edit your videos within the browser which is actually really, really interesting. InVideo actually provided me with a paid account. They have some templates and styles to choose from for resizing your horizontal video. I think it's probably easiest to just choose a blank template. You would select vertical and then hit the start editing button. And then you upload your horizontal clip, you drag it to the frame, and then you adjust it as necessary. You can add a title, you can add a logo, whatever you wanna do there to edit your video into that vertical format. Now, InVideo has an 800 megabyte upload file limit. So every file that you upload needs to be 800 megabytes or less. So that's just something to consider if you're going to check out InVideo. So now you know how to convert your horizontal videos into those vertical videos, but before you upload them to IGTV or Pinterest, you may wanna consider adding automatic captions to those videos because studies have shown that people on social media will continue watching videos longer, you'll get more watch time and engagement when you have those automatic captions showing up below your video. And the longer viewers watch your videos, the more the algorithm will favor your videos and your account will grow. So I queued up the very next video here showing you exactly how to add those captions. It's really simple and easy. You don't have to have complicated software. Just go check it out.